Hi, I'm Annika Russell, and I'm one of the accounting and business management instructors here at MTI. Um, I've been teaching here for, uh, this will be my 10th year. Before that, I taught at K-12, and I have a lot of specialty in um, finance. I have an insurance license, investing license, and I am a certified personal finance representative. So I will be teaching your accounting this year, um, and I am so looking forward to this class. Uh, accounting is one of my favorite things to teach. I absolutely love it. And I want to spend some time today sharing with you um, where to find things in the course, what you need to get started, and those kind of things. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the front page of your MyMTI. Now, your accounting for business in MyMTI, you will notice that you have some. Um, what I'd really like you to do is to make sure that you take some time and read through the syllabus. There's some very important things to pay attention to. First of all, there's your book. Um, right here is what you need for your book. And then also you're going to need an access code to my accounting lab. And what that ask, access code does is it allows you to use uh, my accounting lab, which is on a different website that we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but it also um, is going to be your workbook. That's where we're going to do all of our accounting problems, those kind of things on that part of it. So as you go down here, you're also going to see that there is... Um, all the objectives and, and things that that we're going to learn in class. As you go through it, I want you to make sure you look at the grading information. Um, one of the things is that you will not be allowed to make up a test if you have not worked something out with me ahead of time. So if you know you're going to be gone, if you know you've been sick and you're not able to take one of the tests that we have or quizzes, um, you need to make sure you let me know before the due date. Um, otherwise, you will not be able to make it up. Late work will result in a five-point deduction. Um, no matter what the reason is behind it, we have plenty of time to work behind it, so you should be able to get your work in on time. Also, um, any work that we do prior to midterm, which is October 20th, will not be able to be turned in after midterm, and I will do some reminding for you. So anything that we do now from Chapter 1, when we start next week, um, if it's not done by October 20th, you're not going to be able to do it um, the rest of the semester and go back and make it up. And in accounting, you have to go step-by-step, chapter-by-chapter. Uh, just to keep because it all builds on each other. Um, as we look through here, attendance, making sure you participate in class, just make sure you make note of that. I know you went over the, a lot of that in your orientation stuff too. Some course requirements. Um, this is a good thing to look at. Um, learning via the internet requires a lot of self-motivation and independent study. You should spend some time on it almost every single day to work on it. Um, your, again, this references my accounting lab. Um, there's a link in my MTI. And what this does is basically is your workbook. Okay, so if you have bought a used book, you can go in there and buy the access code. Um, I'll kind of walk you through that process. And if you have not bought a book yet and you buy a new book, it should come with it. Um, so there's some different ways we'll look at that. Our classes run Monday through Sunday night, so everything opens up Monday morning at 8 a.m. and closes Sunday night at 11.55 p.m. Um, for this reasoning, um, this week we're just doing some intro stuff, making sure everyone gets on. So your first assignments um, for Chapter 1 will actually be due on September 3rd at midnight. Chapter 2 will open up on the 4th and will close on Chapter or September 10th. So it kind of just goes through that way. Um, and we do have some things this week just to get you to know you and those kind of things. Um, all the PowerPoints for the chapters will be located under your resources over here in my MTI, which we'll go to in a second, the next thing we're going to go to. Um, and then it just talks again about turning your assignments in on time, um, my accounting lab, what's going to happen in there. So please go and read through your syllabus a little closer. Um, and if you have any questions about it, let me know. The next thing I want to look at is your resources. Underneath resources, these are a lot of things that you're going to be able to need at the beginning of the semester, also throughout the semester. So right here is a bookmark to my accounting lab. We also have a fall class accounting schedule. So if you click on that, you will notice that um, here is the schedule for the, the semester. And it's when things will open, when things are due, um, and all those kind of things down for the whole entire semester. We also have your My Accounting Lab registration. So what this document does is it actually tells you how to register for My Accounting Lab. 
um, you will notice that there is a 14 day grace period. So if you go on there right now, you, and if you can't pay for it yet or anything like that, you can actually get a temporary code access by clicking that link at the bottom of the page when you go to log in. Um, and it will actually um, allow you to have 14 days. And then down here talks about signing in later and then if you're going to have a temporary code and pay later. So you can go 14 days. So even if you don't have your access code right now, I really suggest this week that you get on here and you register so you know um, where things are and what's happening with that. Um, here's a My Accounting Lab tutorial. It's just a document that kind of walks you through what, what's what in My Accounting Lab. Um, underneath coursework, you're going to notice that right now it says there's no assignments, but you will have two welcome assignments to my to accounting. Um, one is a discussion and one is showing me that you actually have logged in. So make sure you go and do those. They are due um, on Sunday night at midnight. So, you know, the 22nd, 23rd, you work on those and get those done. Um, let's go back up to resources and I'm going to go to my accounting lab real quick. Um, this is what you will get to when you get to my accounting lab. And since you will then go to register as a student, um, and it will might tell you to, you need to update your browser. Um, and so those are things that you may have to do on that. I actually already have it open. So one thing I will tell you is that you will go to your assignments and any of your assignments will be listed here. Um, you can say do homework, things will be listed. Your tests and quizzes will be listed here. These are the two main areas that you're going to use in my accounting lab. Um, you will notice that there are some videos. There are some help plans. There's Ask the Instructor. So there's a lot of things in here to help you. Um, and as you read through some of the things that I have in resources on my MTI, you will know you'll come up with some of those things that are there. The main thing I want to tell you is that each week you should start with my MTI under News and Announcements. Um, you actually will have what's going on this week. Uh, I may have a video of some things that are that's happening show you the screen, those kind of things of some hints and things that we know that's going to go on. Or sometimes it may be written, sometimes it may be a video, but each week we should start out here. One thing you will notice is that you will have some quizzes over vocab words. I'm a big vocab person when it comes to, um, when it comes to accounting. There's a lot of terms that we have to know. So each chapter you will have vocab quiz. The kind of the way it's working is you have like three days to read the chapter, you need to do the vocab quiz, and then you have time to do your work. You will notice that um, homework part one will be due in a week, and then part two will be due the next week. That is to say part one is more the introduction, getting you ready for it, helping you understand what's going on in that accounting class, and then two is actually going to um, give you actual problems to really know what's going on for that chapter. Um, and then we'll take a test over it and then start the next chapter. So, and then that course outline, you see a, quite a bit of that of counting part one, part two, and that's what that means. Um, I look forward to working with you this year. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me. Um, on my syllabus is my cell phone number, uh, my work number, you can have my work email, um, and I'm more than willing to Skype with you if we have to at any point in time to make sure you understand. These first few chapters are very critical to understand what accounting is as a total. So if there's anything that you need where we're struggling with one part, I can always assign some extra homework individually to people to make sure that you do understand it. So let's have a great semester, and I'm um, exci excited to be working with you. Thank you.